All right, here we are back in one login, and, and here on the SSO tab where we left off, the first thing I'm actually going to do is enable the allow assumed users to sign into this app. And this is something that is only configurable by the account owner. And so if the account owner enables this, it allows super users or account owners to not only sign in as the user, but also sign into the app in question, in this case, Symanage as the user. So I'm going to check this box and enable this permission. And then I'm going to head up to the Access tab, and I'm going to assign this application to the test role, because that is the role I use for all of my testing. And then I'm going to click on Save. One quick thing I want to do, and I do this every single time I set up a new application, is I always head to the Parameters tab, and I just want to make sure that we have the correct mapping set up. In this case, I'm mapping username to the email address field in one login, and that's what I want, so I'm going to click on Save there. All right, so at this point, I'm going to head to Users, and then All Users, and I'm going to choose a user to log into to Manage. I'm going to choose, let's choose test user. So click on the user in question. And this user has not been created in Symantec. So this is going to be a case for just-in-time provisioning to create the user on the fly. So I'm going to click on more actions and then assume this user. And I'm going to say it's testing. And remember, I can use any user that's not in Symantec or that's in Symantec to do my testing. All right, let's click on Symantec. And as you can see, we have successfully logged into Symantec and we have created a user on the fly with just-in-time provisioning. Now, if we didn't have that enabled, we would have received an error message letting us know that we are not a user in Symantec. So we have all these options here, some popular services. We can see some of the tickets we've created if we have, or requests rather, if we've created any and we haven't because we're a new user. And we can go up and take a look at our account and all that fun stuff. So all right, so at this point, I'm going to exit out and revert to admin. And since we have successfully set up Symantec Single Sign-On, I'm going to head back to the app, and I'm going to disable Assumed App Sign-In because I don't want to leave that enabled. I just want to do that for testing. So go back to the SSO tab here, uncheck this box, go to the Access tab, uncheck Test Role, click on Save, and you are in good shape to use Symantec moving forward. At this point, I want to thank you for watching. Let us know how you liked the video on our YouTube page. If you have any specific questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team by going to support.onelogin.com. In addition, continue to check out our Help Center for up-to-date information on new features and all you need to know to use OneLogin.